Now that we have chosen our five uh, resources, okay, we are now going to take it one step further and we are going to look at uh, the different considerations when using uh, these resources with your learners. So we're going to take it further, we're going to look at um, each resource in detail. Now to answer uh, criteria 2.1, analyze principles of resource design, we are going to look at um, a series of questions uh, for each of the resources. Okay, so firstly, number of learners. Can all learners access the resource at once or do they need to take it in turn to access the resource? Okay, so we're thinking about accessibility here. Can all learners uh, use the resource at once? Okay, uh, what could the, the learners be doing if they are perhaps not using the resource at that one time? In terms of the next criteria, up-to-date resources, how do you stay uh, current uh, with these resources? Okay, um, are you signed up to updates or membership? But we're looking to see how do you stay current uh, with the resources that you are using? Furthermore, clarity. Um, how do you ensure that resources um, are clear? How do you ensure that your learners fully understand how to use uh, the resources? Do you have to perhaps uh, produce uh, any instructions, any help books to help your learners uh, to grasp um, the, the resource? Okay. Furthermore, accessibility. Um, can all learners um, access your resource? Do they have to, to make uh, any changes for, for learners? So what considerations do you have there? Can all uh, learners access your resources? Two of the key factors, we have uh, set up time um, when sort of approaching your, your lesson. Um, how long do the resources have to take to, to set up here? Uh, do you have to make any considerations that impact on your, your teaching time, your preparation time? And furthermore, security. Um, how do you keep all of your resources safe and secure? Okay, so we're looking at a minimum of, of five resources here. And we're just going to go in depth and sort of find out a little bit more on the resource use. OK, for this section, we're looking for a minimum of three to five hundred words. And once again, do have a look at page uh, 280 within the textbook.